Choosing the best whitetail cartridges is actually pretty easy because there are so many great ones to choose from. Getting another hunter to agree with you is the hard part. Deer hunters debate minute differences in feet per second, pounds of energy, and bullet diameter as hotly as if they were deciding the next presidential election. However, not many hunters have a lot of experience shooting a lot of deer with a lot of different cartridges. More likely, they shot a deer with a certain cartridge, and the deer might have run more than 100 yards, which sometimes they do no matter what they're shot with, and just like that, it's the worst whitetail cartridge ever. Or maybe a hunter takes several deer with wonderful results using a single cartridge, which naturally becomes the best whitetail cartridge of all time. So to help you with your decision, we have listed the top eight deer hunting cartridges and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. Number 8. The 7mm OT8 Remington The 7mm OT8 is a 308 Winchester case neck down to fit a 284 caliber 7.2mm bullet. Though the name suggests it's a 7mm, 7mm equals .275 inch, unlike most American cartridges, it gets its name from its bore, land to land diameter, as opposed to its bullet diameter. Ballistically, it competes favorably with the 270 and 308, though it never achieved the popularity of either. Because of that, ammo options are not extensive. I've witnessed deer and hogs and even elk taken with a 7mm odd 8, but I've never shot a deer with it. The cartridge seems to shoot flatter and hit harder than its recoil impulse would suggest, and with the right bullets, you can stretch the distance a bit beyond moderate range. With the introduction of the 6.5 Creedmoor, interest in the 7mm OT8 has waned. Still, many deer hunters swear by it, and Jeff Cooper considered it the best alternate cartridge of the 308 Winchester for his scout rifle. If you're a fan of heavier bullets than the Creed can launch, but still want flat trajectory with comparable recoil, the 7mm OT8 might just be the right one for you. Number 7. The 6.5 Creedmoor there's no other cartridge as hated or loved as a 6.5 Creedmoor. Modern shooters adore it because it shoots flat and does not cross your eyes every time the trigger is pulled. Old timers despise it for the same reason. They think that kind of performance only comes with matching recoil. The Creed recoils at about 40% less than the 30-06, which makes it easy to shoot with precision. And because of its immense popularity, there are lots of rifles and loads to choose from. I think it works best on critters weighing less than 500 pounds, which is about twice the weight of even the biggest deer. Inside 400 yards, bullet choice is not that critical, and at those distances the Creed is no better than its 260 Remington rival. Beyond that distance, you'll need a bullet with a BC of more than .500 to get the most of what the Creed can offer. Fortunately, 6.5 Creedmoor rifles have the correct twist rate to stabilize those long and slender 6.5 millimeter bullets. Number six, the 243 Winchester. The first deer rifle my dad had was a 243 Winchester. Some hunters with 30 out sixes didn't believe it was strong enough, but dad proved it was. I made my best deer shot ever with that 243 on the biggest deer I've ever hunted. While it's not my first choice, I trust the 243 Winchester entirely. The 243 gained popularity as it was good for hunting both deer and smaller pests. It remains a top choice for that kind of dual purpose hunting. Just like how a certain fast twist rifle outpaced its competition, the 243, able to handle heavier bullets, outlived its 6mm rival. But that's old news. Nowadays, bullets depend on speed. An 80 grain all copper bullet fired from a 243 Winchester seems to hit deer like a bolt of lightning. And for those doubting the 243's capabilities, here's a fact. My wife took one on a safari with a single shot each. She successfully hunted a Gemsbach, a wildebeest, and an impala. That same rifle has been used by her to take down multiple deer, none of which have shown signs of defrosting from the freezer. Number 5. 
the 4570 government. Introduced in 1873, the same year that Colt released their single action revolver, it seems like the 4570 has been around forever. As popular as it is today, by the 1970s, it was almost extinct. However, with Marlin's reintroduction of the Model 1895, the 4570 found new life. More important, it found new ammo. Up until that time, 4570 loads were weak with rainbow trajectories. With modern ammo, the 4570 differs from a lot of other cartridges. It has a three-tiered power level. Original patterned loads launch a 405 grain bullet at about 1200 FPS. Mid-range loads will push a 300 grain bullet past 1800 FPS. And top-tier loads will match that velocity with a 430 grain bullet. As a result, a 4570 will work for anything walking Earth. But you don't need Magnum-like 4570 loads to kill deer. The mid-level stuff is ideal, and the recoil is perfectly manageable. The 4570 makes a big hole going in, a bigger hole through the middle, and leaves a gaping exit. It's a straight wall legal cartridge, and there's a host of really cool rifles to choose from. All the deer I've shot with the 4570 acted like the Lord had just called them home. Number 4. The 35 Remington The 35 Remington gained its fame in the Marlin 336 lever gun. However, the cartridge was designed in 1906 for Remington's Model 8 semi-automatic rifle. Most factory loads push a 200 grain bullet to about 2,000 FPS. Arguably, this is no better ballistically than the 3030 Winchester. But the debate about which of the two is the best lever gun cartridge for deer has raged for nearly a century. With Marlin in the process of rebuilding under Ruger, currently the only new 35 Remington available is from Henry. When it comes to being passionate about deer cartridges, I may be more passionate about the 35 Remington than any other. I've had several lever guns and bolt actions, and have put down a lot of deer with them. Is it any better than a 3030 Winchester? I can't prove it, but I believe it. And sometimes believing is all that matters. The 35 Remington is an Appalachian and North Country favorite. Some hunters trust it more than they do their grandma. Unfortunately, there are only about five factory loads to choose from, but they're all perfect for deer. Wouldn't a new semi-auto 35 Remington similar to Ruger's discontinued Deerstalker carbine be a wonderful whitetail rifle? A deer thicket would never be the same. Number 3. The Immortal 30-06 Springfield The 30-06 Springfield is like the superhero of big game cartridges. It's been around for a long time, delivers a powerful impact, and played a crucial role in World War II. It's undeniably the most significant big game cartridge of the 20th century, and it's still in use today. Just like many hunters, my first serious deer rifle had the Ott 6 chambered. Using 165 grain ballistic tips, I've gained hundreds of pounds of corn fed venison over the years. I've also used it for hunting all over, using various bullet types 150 grain soft points. 180 grain triple shocks, 200 grain trophy bonded bear claws, 180 grain acubons, and several others I can't recall at the moment. There isn't another cartridge that offers such a versatile range of options. Truly, it's the best multi purpose hunting rifle caliber. The science of physics contributes significantly to the success of the 30 6. It finds the sweet spot between power and usability. The recoil produced by the Ott 6 is just about the maximum most shooters can handle without acquiring a significant flinch. Also, its terminal ballistics can manage almost everything except a thick skinned, dangerous game. It's indeed more powerful than most deer need, but it gets the job done. Plus, it carries a sense of nostalgia that few cartridges can compete with. If it was the chosen caliber for notable hunters of the past, then this deer hunting caliber is certainly good enough for us. Number 2. The 223 Remington Though many hunters believe the 223 Remington is illegal for deer hunting in most states, 36 out of 50 currently allow it. Many also believe that the 223 Remington is not enough for deer. Those folks either don't understand terminal ballistics or have never shot a deer with a 223 Remington and the right bullet. It is true that most factory 223 loads are not suitable for big game hunting, but a good handful are at least out to around 200 yards. Much beyond that distance, 
the 223 Remington runs out of steam quickly. Using various 223s, I've taken whitetails with power point, partition, triple shock, and fusion bullets. Because of its light recoil, this cartridge is easy to shoot accurately for both young and experienced hunters. Introduced in the mid-1960s with a 55 grain bullet and a slow twist barrel, the 223 was hardly a deer rifle. Today, with modern ammunition loaded with heavier and stouter bullets, and with rifles with fast twist barrels, the complexion of the 223 has utterly changed. It is indeed a deer killer, and one of the best whitetail cartridges. Number 1. OG Lever Action Caliber 3030 Winchester Crowning one cartridge as the best whitetail caliber is a difficult task, but it is hard to imagine which would surpass the 3030 Winchester. It was introduced in 1895 in conjunction with the Winchester Model 94 lever gun, and in a century and a quarter since then, we've never witnessed a more successful rifle and cartridge combo. How did it come to dominate? Few people realize it these days, but both the rifle and round were technical marvels. The 94 was a fast handling and reasonably accurate rifle with great balance and ergonomics and an impressive magazine capacity. The 3030 was the first small bore, smokeless cartridge introduced in the United States and kicked off the era of high power cartridges in America. Lest you think it is some relic of your grandfather's era, the 3030 is still the top selling lever action cartridge, beating out the 4570 even though that round has seen many more new offerings in terms of rifles and ammunition. Why does the 3030 endure? Well, more than 7.5 million Model 94s have rolled off Winchester's production lines, to say nothing of all the Marlin 336s and, more recently, Henry repeating arms lever guns that have been chambered in 3030. So there's no shortage of rifles chambered in this round. But these numbers don't tell the entire story. The 3030 has plenty of power to take on whitetail within 200 yards, making it suitable for 95% of shots on deer. It also produces about half the recoil of a 30 6 so it is a pussycat to shoot. Hunters who favor the 3030 see no reason to go to anything else and consider it the best deer hunting caliber for 200 yards and in. Great loads for the 3030 include Winchester's 150 grain PowerPoint, Hornady's 160 grain FTX Lever Evolution, and the Federal Premium 150 grain Barnes TSX Hollow Point. And there you have it, the apex of deer hunting cartridges handpicked just for you. If you found this video enlightening, don't hold back your love, smash that thumbs up button, it really ignites our zeal. Got your eye on a particular cartridge? We're all ears! Share your choice in the comments section below. A gigantic thank you for joining us! If this video served as your guiding compass, why not show some support by hitting that like button? To make sure you're always a part of our thrilling future content, click the subscribe button and become part of our family. We're eager to meet you again in our next video. Until then, take care and we'll see you soon. Happy hunting!